Hi, so it's me. It's Wednesday and it's about 4.30 and I just got home from a course. I took a course at the board today, multifamily residential properties, and it was a great course. Learned a ton. I'm kind of a nerd that way. And I'm just getting ready to, um, to go on a date this evening. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Um, I know over the past few months I've kind of talked about going on dates and I even said yes a few times, well, twice. <laughs> and for one reason or another they didn't come together. And um, yeah, it's, it's not the person that I'm going out with tonight. They are a really nice guy and I'm, I'm sure everything will be great there. It's just the whole thought of, of dating. and. Rob Rudell, you posted on my, you commented on my post yesterday about um, being a limiting belief when I posted that, you know, getting in a relationship might seem uh, tempting, but so did the Titanic and look what that happened or look what happened there, whatever, I don't know. And I don't really think it is a limiting belief. I think that really, quite honestly, it's that I, I am busy. I don't feel like I have enough time already for my friends and for me and for my family. And just throwing somebody else, you know, into the mix is kind of, I don't know. I don't really know if I'm ready. Um, but I was, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, Jennifer McLeod, and we were talking about how you know, I'm a big believer in fate and destiny and what's meant to be is, you know, will happen and all those things. And I really shouldn't have to be looking for anyone because somewhere out there, there's this really great, amazing person that's looking for me. However, I realized, you know, we were joking around about that. And then I realized a couple days later that I have lots of people all the time that want to, um, that want to hook me up with people. And I always say no, no hookups. And I just do not do not let those happen. Too much pressure. <laughs> but, you know, referrals are great in my business. And people often refer to me because they know I'll do a good job. So they refer their friends and family and people they know. And here they are referring these people to me because they think they're great people and they'd be really good for me. And I just shoot down the idea. Won't have anything to do with it. And... If I don't start saying yes, if I don't start maybe being a little bit open, then I might miss that great opportunity <laughs> to, you know, find that amazing person that will um, take out my garbage and fill up my, uh, my windshield wiper fluid <laughs> and, oh, maybe even change my light bulbs. <laughs> you know, just little things like that that mean so, so much. So, I, yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking the other day that, I don't know, I'm not agreeing to get married, I'm just agreeing to go out and see what happens, and I will uh, be uh, a little more open, a little more open to this idea, and go from there. So tonight, yeah. <laughs> It all sounds so good until I have to actually commit to it. Oh, I think I need to tell them I'm still going. I'm not sure. I might have left it open because I was pending an offer. So technically there is still a loophole out. But I do want to go out with him. Yeah. So, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is actually. Anyway, that's a whole other story. I'm not even going there, but that's my story for today. So um, I will let you know. Well, actually, I probably won't let you know how it goes. And uh, yeah, so send me good vibes. Eight o'clock tonight. Um, and yeah, that's my story. Have a great day. Bye.